I guess you're just not ready for this change. This is something that I said a few years ago working in the UK government and it was a result of having tried to champion some business agility with this organization and not getting anywhere. So my attempts to suggest that business agility was going to be a better fit for the kind of challenges that we had was often received with significant amounts of resistance and counter arguments and so on. So I was never going to be forcing people to do this and a way of signaling that I was happy not to pursue this was I just said, hey, you're not ready for this. What surprised me was that at that very moment people reacted in a way that I wasn't expecting. Suddenly people were saying, like, what do you mean that we are not ready for it? Of course we are ready for it. Um, there was a sense of professional pride um, that wasn't there before. And it was just saying to them, yeah, it's not for you. Or it's not for you yet. So having realized this, I spent a few weeks then responding to the questions that people had and the curiosity, but also saying, but you're not ready for this. We're not ready for this. Yeah. And over those weeks, the transformative conversation that happened was that from resistance and counter arguments, I started to see people asking for or demanding that we did business agility. So eventually they did. We started to work on it and it was a great ride. But the key aspect of that was that by telling people that they were not ready for it, somehow it had triggered curiosity. And this is one, this is one of the moments that made me start to think about what makes change possible. And I talk about or formulate that there are three dimensions that need to converge for change to happen. And it's about being ready, willing and able. To be ready means that we have to create the conditions, the environmental conditions for change to happen. To be willing is that you need to have people who are interested and wanting to do the change for themselves. So not being, you don't have to force it on people because forcing never works. And the last one to be able is to have the necessary skills and knowledge available to succeed in this change. And when those three converge, magic happens. But you need those three to be ready, willing, and able. And that's the difficult, the really difficult thing for managers, business leaders, change agents to spot, is to spot those moments when there are the right conditions for change happen. When you find those situations, then big things can happen, can happen. But without them, probably you will be, or we will be struggling to um, get things going. So spot those moments, and when you spot those moments, ride that wave, because that's when real change does happen.